Harry, not the result you guys wanted out there today, but I think you guys can be proud of the performance. Yeah, I think we can be really proud um, as a team of the performance. I think we dominated and controlled large parts of that game, the majority of that game. Um, just sort of one set piece, which we knew would be a strength of theirs. Um, just needed to see it out better. Um, but I think probably the lesson that we could learn today is that we need to take our chances whilst we're on top. Um, I think if we take some of those chances first half and second half as well before, before obviously they eventually score, um, then I think we sort of go on to win the game comfortably. Um, so like I said, I think it's one where we need to take our chances when we're on top. But so many pleasing factors of the performance, but obviously the result's the main thing. So um, we'll look back on it um, tomorrow and Monday and, and get ready for another big game on Tuesday. You mentioned the result and the performance. What did Gary have to say in the changing room after the game? Just said, just said, keep your heads up. Um, there's so many good parts of that performance, the way we moved the ball, the way we moved them around for the majority of the game, the chances we created. Um, but like I say, sometimes it might be a bit of luck or, or taking those chances that fall to you um, to get in front of that game, because I think once, once you get in front, they're chasing it. And I think you probably, m most of the time, see the game out. Um, but like I say, when you, when you don't take those opportunities when, when it's level, um, then you're always given op an, op an opportunity to, to get back into the game, sort of like they did at the end. Different position for you today, starting at right wing back. How did that come about? Was it obviously there's been transition with Josh being injured, but yeah. how was that for you starting that position? Yeah, I enjoy playing in a different position. I mean, um, when the manager, I played a bit there this week and we sort of practiced it. Um, didn't know until yesterday when the when the manager spoke to me and said, "Look, I'm I'm going to play you there." Um, and it's not obviously a position I played there when I was sort of an under 18, four or five years ago, but it's not a position I've played since. Um, but I feel like it's, it's good to be able to, for the manager to trust me in different positions, not just in midfield, to be able to play sort of right centre half like I did last season or right wing back. Um, with Josh obviously being injured the last couple of weeks, it's, it's given me an opportunity to play in that position and, and I enjoy playing there. Um, any way I can, I can help the team in any position is, is a bonus. So, um, yeah, it's one where I, I'll learn from that experience. And if I, if I play there again, then I can use the experience from today to, to build on. Well, having just spoke to Gary, he was in high praise of you playing that position today. And it was, it was good to see you out there as well, playing on the right wing back, because you didn't look out of position at all. You looked really natural there. Yeah, so. I mean, like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm always sort of a, a right-sided player, whether that's right of a central midfield or right centre-half, where I played, obviously, a couple of times last season. Um, I feel like I back myself with my delivery, being able to touch and deliver like I did a couple first half, not as many second half, but sort of most of it come down the left second half, but that's just the way the game goes. But like I said, I back myself in that position, I back myself 1v1 defending. Um, and I think me and Stano linked up really well, and I think me and Will, like I say, me and Stano linked up well, and I think us, us as a three down that right hand side with Will involved, linked up quite nicely first half to be able to create opportunities. So um, I think it's one, like I say, that I'll, I'll learn from playing in that position. And if the manager trusts me to put me there again, like I say, I can use the experience from today to, to build on for the next one. You were one of four changes today, and I think the biggest one would be Gary Woods coming in for Jamal and goal. Was it different having Gary in there instead of Jamal? Um, I mean, it's always different when you when you change, and it's always the first time Gary's played. But I thought I thought he was outstanding. I thought coming out for crosses, um, his kicking was very good, um, very vocal from from behind us as a sort of a back five, if you know what I mean, as a wing back like I was playing. I thought, yeah, I thought fair play to, to Gary to to come into a side and like I say, come in sort of end of last week, start of this week, and, and to come in and play 90 minutes of that. I thought he was he was excellent. And the voice from the away fans as well was fantastic throughout the whole game, even when the goal went in against you guys. Anything you want to say to the fans? Yeah, just just thank you for travelling. We, we appreciate you coming in so many numbers every week. Um, we have such a good fan base, whether we're at home or whether we're away. And, and to see sort of SJP sold out pretty much consistently every time we're at home now, to see sort of those sort of numbers. Do you know how many? We haven't got the number got today the numbers, yet. But I'll say it was pretty, <laughs> a pretty good turnout. Yeah. Um, and look, they they back us up and down the country, and I think it's um, it's it, we appreciate it so much as players, and we're obviously disappointed that we weren't able to get them a result today. I'm sure they would appreciate the performance we put in and the chances we created at that side second half and, and that side first half. But um, like I say, we appreciate their support so much, and and like I say, onto onto Tuesday night and hopefully another another sellout SJP to play in front of. How's the preparation going to be for Shrewsbury? Because it's only a couple of days away now. So will you guys be back in training before then? Yeah, so we'll be back in Monday. Um, obviously, starters will probably do a little bit less than the lads that, that come off the bench. If you see, I mean, the finishers, as the manager calls it. Um, but we'll all do a bit. Um, we'll assess this game, what we've done well, what we could have done better, um, what Tuesday night's opposition are going to 
are going to try and cause us as problems. Um, and we'll, like I say, we'll assess this game, learn from it. But I think there's so many pleasing aspects from this performance that we can take into Tuesday night. I don't think it's where we've, where we've come up here and, and obviously, like I say, we've lost. But I feel there's so many pleasing aspects that we can take into Tuesday and build on. Brilliant. Cheers, Harry. No worries.